Okay, so here we have a question on velocity time graphs. It says a child drops a ball, the ball hits the ground and bounces. The graph below shows the velocity time graph for the ball from when the ball is dropped until the ball reaches the top of its first bounce. So it's been dropped, it bounces, and then it reaches its maximum height from that bounce. And it's telling us that air resistance has been ignored here. So it's telling us describe the motion of the ball between the points A and B on the graph above. So from A to B, it starts at zero, and then it reaches B, it's a straight line, okay? So the fact that it's a straight line, this is a velocity time graph. So the gradient on a velocity time graph tells you the acceleration. So for two marks, the first mark will be that it's accelerating. However, you can quickly gain the second mark because it is a straight line. So the fact that it's a straight line tells us that the acceleration is constant. So to get two marks, we don't need to fill the entire space. We can simply say that the motion from A to B is uniform acceleration and literally one mark for each word, one mark for identifying its acceleration, and the second mark for showing that it's uniform or stating it's uniform. In the second question, it says, what direction is the ball moving between the points C and D on the graph above? So you can see here C and D is what it's referring to, that point of the motion. So if we think about what it said, it said the ball has been dropped from a height, it reaches the ground, it bounces, and then comes back up. So let's follow that with the graph in my hand to show the path of the ball. So starting from A, we're at the top. We then let go of the ball, it falls, and it, at B it reaches the ground, which is why you get this sharp line straight downwards. It then goes and bounces up and stops or reaches zero meters per second when it reaches maximum height again at D. So that last position or that last movement from C to D was when it was at the ground and it's now bouncing up. So for one mark, the direction uh, that the ball is moving is upwards. And there we have it.